You know what? It's a good day today because our Small Business Person of the Year is here in studio with us. We're welcoming back our honoree, Dr. Q. How are you, miss? I am Fantastic, super excited, have amazing news to share with you guys today. We've been waiting for it. What I know, is it? I know, I didn't want to say anything until we actually got closed, sure. but my a nonprofit horse rescue, the Rescue Ranch, um, we've been looking for our own property for close to 11 years now, and um, we uh, moved in yesterday. Oh my God, good yes. congrats. Yeah, thank 11 you. years in the making. 11 years in the making, yeah. And what is it going sure. to look like? Well, it's a 10 acre property. Um, the only reason we could afford it as a nonprofit is because it needs a lot of work. Yeah. So definitely needs some volunteers to come help us with, you know, fencing and weeds and everything. It's kind of a mess, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm hoping that soon I can get some help to figure out exactly what I need to do to make it like ADA compliant so that we can have um, some of the disabled people come in and, you know, in different uh, groups like that to come in and uh, get to spend some time uh, with the horses. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's your vision for the space for years to come? Yeah, so I definitely want it to be, um, a, you know, a community treasure is what I want it to be, a safe place for uh, people from all walks of life who just really kind of need some healing and some quiet time um, and just really want to be around horses but maybe can't afford their own horse um, where they can come and spend some time with our rescue horses. Yeah, yeah, and this is so important what you're doing. We all know that horses are super healing for people, they right? They can be, And yes, it's amazing for, sure. for a day-to-day -day thing. And remind me where this property sits. Yeah. Yeah, so this property is uh, in the El Rancho neighborhood of Evergreen, Colorado. So it's right off um, Interstate I-70. So it's pretty easy to get to from all parts of the city. And so again, uh, if anybody wants to check out our website, rescueranch.org, um, it's also a work in progress. We just got it up and it needs a little help, um, but we're getting there bit by bit, you know, so um, we'll have announcements there um, about when we're gonna start having volunteers come. Perfect, Amazing. okay. Amazing, yeah. And how many volunteers are you looking for? Well, it really kind of depends on the skill set of who can come help because again it it's a lot of work okay <laughs> you know and, yeah. you know fencing and barn work and all kinds of stuff so it kind of depends on uh, who is willing to come and help us out all right so if you find yourself being a handy man or woman <laughs> head on over to dr q's place thank you so much for sharing that with us yes. you also have our special friend we love this is like our studio dog <laughs> yes. this is wasabi this is we can wasabi. get a shot on her yes. she is Adorable. Yeah, this is her, her favorite thing in the world to come here and hang out with you guys. <laughs> and she is eyeing some kitties across the studio because you guys, it's Furry Friend Friday as well. Yeah. So yeah. she is adorable. So Dr. Q, in our intro, we talked about you being, uh, or you having this pretty amazing title that you got earlier this year. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so I am the Colorado Small Business Person of the Year, 165 whatever thousand businesses in Colorado. So it's just like a really super huge, overwhelming honor um, to win that. And also, um, you know, I owe a lot to my staff, of, of course, because I couldn't do it without them. But, you know, really just like through the years, it's been um, hard sometimes to just kind of stay the course. And sometimes people look at you and they're like, what are you trying to do? Why don't you just stop that? Sure, and, doubting and, you. Yeah, you know, and yeah. so it's uh, hard to work through all that uh, year after year and, and stay focused. And so this award has been really, really wonderful to help me realize that I was on the right path all along. That's yeah. right. And tell us, for people who don't know, who haven't been tuning in every Friday, what you are and who, you know, what you do and who you are. So I'm a veterinarian. I own Aspen Park at Veterinary Hospital in Conifer, Colorado. We're a holistic hospital, so we do some out-of-the-box kind of things, acupuncture, Chinese medicine, you know, especially for pet, pets that maybe aren't getting uh, well at the current vet that they're at. So we might have some options for them. And then as well as, of course, I'm a fish doctor. So, um, you know, I saw lots of fish patients this week. That's uh, my favorite part. Of I know, that too. I know. It's I so try cool. to trying to get some uh, new videos up on my YouTube channel of some of the latest fish patients I've seen. Hey, oh, there we'll you go. I want to see those videos. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dr. Q, thank you so much for coming in, and of course, bringing Wasabi. We love her in studio. <laughs> She's, She's a good dog. Yeah. We're gonna get folks more information, so hopefully, you can get those volunteers that you need. Yeah. So, yeah, for more information great. on Dr. Q's vet and organization, go to AspenParkVet.com or RescueRanch.org. You can also check her out on YouTube, like she just mentioned she has a YouTube channel it's called the one dr. Q thanks to Aspen uh, Park Vet Hospital and Rescue Ranch for sponsoring this segment